with the Bears and they've got a second down and six here. Well, and that's the other side of that as well is. You know what happens to Matt Eberflus. I mean, I do know that you keep making changes at head coach and at quarterback. It's hard. It's hard to build something. Here's Roshan Johnson is ripped to the ground by Daniil Hunter. A loss of two. We go down to Lisa. Yeah, Joe. Well, Justin Fields is well aware of the high picks that Chicago is going to have in next year's draft. He told us he's not adding any extra pressure on himself to perform his way into an extension. He said, I can't control what they do with those picks. I'm just focusing on myself and trying to get better every day. I'm not going to worry about it. Yeah, he told us that, and I believe him. I, I, he was very convincing when he said it, but it's still the situation for Fields with these final six games, including tonight. Backpedaling, and that pass is broken up. Good play made by Byron Murphy in front of D.J. Moore. And that brings up fourth down, and Santos comes back out onto the field. Well, that's what you're going to get. You got seven rushers, and it's an all-out blitz. You see there's no safety in the middle of the field. They're locked up and just unable to make a play on it. Byron Murphy is expecting the ball to come out at the sticks, which is what happened against their best receiver, D.J. Moore, instead of, you know, maybe you were able to take the shot down the field, but they've been sitting on the chains every time they've gotten into those situations. 55-yard try by Santos. He drills it. Missed from 48 with his first try, and since then he's hit from 25, 39, and now 55 to make it a six-point game. 18 yards. Yeah, so the Vikings are expecting man coverage. You see the, the bunch set, and K.J. Osborne, the way that he slow plays it off the line, it allows then Powell to get separation from the man in coverage on him. Now you just got to make the accurate throw, which he does, so it allows him to run and catch, or run after the catch. And Powell's had the two biggest receptions for the team tonight. Terrell Smith back in there, the rookie corner for Chicago. Saw him limp away last time the Vikings had it. This one aired out. It's Addison all alone, but out of bounds. Got behind the defense, and the throw led him out of bounds. Incomplete. Tyler Gordon injured on that play. And here's the end of it. Yeah, he has them, and regardless, you got to, I don't, I'm not sure Addison, I think he kind of lost track of where he was, but there was a double move by Addison that got Kyler Gordon then to jump on it. You see at the top of the screen, and he stumbles, he goes down, but man, just a missed opportunity. You got to keep it in play, but Addison also needs to know where he is. Take a break as they check on Kyler Gordon. Call by Kevin O'Connell on the double move. They haven't gotten many shots down the field tonight. And you just don't get those opportunities very often. And you just cannot afford to miss them. Here's Addison over the middle. And that pass is complete. That's the call, even though Brisker says that ball was trapped. Working against Josh Blackwell, who just came in the game for the injured Kyler Gordon. And let's take a look at the end of this play. Yeah, it looked to me like he has it. You know, I could see where as he's going down, but it sure looked to me like his hands were underneath it, John. Yeah, I think he's got control, and I don't see the hands coming off the ball, so I, I would keep it as a catch, but I could see a challenge coming. And we have a challenge by Matt Eberflus. Those two looks, it looked like the hand of Addison was under the ball. The ruling on the field is a completed pass. Chicago has challenged that ruling. And the Bears challenge it. Welcome back. The call will stand as you see the hand under the ball on the catch by Addison. And so it's a 14 yard completion. And a first down for Minnesota at the Chicago 38. They hand to Madison. He cuts up field and turns that into a nice carry on first down as he gets five. Pickens and Green combine on the stop. The Vikings come into this game six and five and currently sitting 
in the number six spot in the NFC playoff picture. They're right there in the division, too, as we came on the air talking about. They've got two games left. Two of the last three games, including week 18 against the Lions. A win tonight. The Vikings are a game and a half back. Dobbs protected. Hawkinson inside the 20. And finally, in a frustrating night, as Brisker is down, just a bad night for this Vikings offense. They're down by six, and they're moving the ball with a first down now at the Chicago 17. Well, they're finally starting to hit some passes, but, you know, Dobbs, he loves throwing to tight ends. He throws to tight ends more than any quarterback in the NFL, both when he was at Arizona and now that he's with the Minnesota Vikings. A really nice route by T.J. Hawkinson. You see the separation that he's able to get on Brisker. He stays down on the ground. That's the injury as he's as he's leaving the field but TJ Hawkinson an excellent job protection holds up and they get another big play out of the passing game well the good news is Gordon's back in for Chicago Brisker is still down and now he pops up Elijah Hicks comes in the game the backup safety and if there's one reason why the Vikings are still in this game the Bears have turned the ball over four times. Rather, the Vikings have, and the Bears have only three points total off those four giveaways by the Minnesota offense. And now in a six-point game, the Vikings have a first down in the red zone of Chicago. Yeah, and you, you talked about what the playoff picture looks like. I, I don't know that there's anybody watching this game tonight that feels that the Vikings are a playoff contender from what we've seen, but yet they are. And I've talked about how, how good they have been considering they've been without their quarterback, Kirk Cousins. They've been without their number one wide receiver and Justin Jefferson. I expected their offensive line to hold up a little bit better tonight than they have against this Bears front. The Bears have been really good, but they finally. And we're at the two-minute warning. To Minnesota, Joe, Troy, Vikes trying to hang on for dear life.